Hello my viewers. Due to a lot of questions and your comments regarding the Sure Start soft starter, I've got Michael Kerrigan here on the telephone from Hyper Engineering and he's going to answer some questions here uh, that I've written down. Okay, you ready Mike? Thank you. Question number one is how much and where can you purchase the Sure Starts? Uh, well, okay, uh, actually, to give you a little history, the, the Sure Hyper Engineering itself is a company out of Sydney, Australia. Uh, and we've sold, uh, well, many units uh, worldwide, but they haven't sold that many in the U.S. Uh, we do have a lot of companies that brand label, Emerson being one of them, but, um, so we, 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 we sell them direct. We are looking to go through to some distribution, so currently the answer is yes. We, we, we sell them direct if you go to Hyper, Okay, great. Uh, here's another question for you. This is regarding the durability of the green plug lugs that's on the module itself. Um, have you experienced any uh, problems with that uh, particular part of the module? Actually, not at all. Uh, well, one of my first concerns were with how well would the plug stay uh, in its position as far as locked in, and it does have a clip underneath it that basically locks that clip in, and so that when it goes in, it doesn't come out easy. You really have to plug on it to get it out, and it's obviously rated for the amount of uh, amperage uh, that we're going through, which is very little on those leads. Question three here is uh, about the Sure Start threes. Uh, we, I already know that the ones that you have right now are for 50 hertz only, but uh, could you explain about the voltage that can be used that they're good for? Right, well, just to give you a little idea on the units we do have, we have one unit that does it, that's 115 volts, and that pretty much covers anything from what, uh, a half of horsepower or ton, which is kind of kind of similar as far as uh, the, the relationship of it, but it goes up to seven. We do have uh, another single phase, which is 230, and that comes in two different sizes, which is one and three quarter horsepower up to three and a half, then the second one is 230 volts, it goes from three and a half to seven horsepower. We do have, uh, we just, we have a, a three phase, which is a 50 hertz currently, that's running at 415 volts. As of this month, we're releasing a three phase for the U.S. market being 60 hertz that runs at 460 volts. We will eventually be coming up with some different voltages on other three phase 60 hertz for the U.S. Okay, great. I'll be looking forward to those uh, new Sure Start 3s for the U.S. market. Uh, question four, uh, what's the difference between a hard start and a soft start? The difference between a, a hard start and a soft start, okay. Um, well, a hard start basically is a, uh, a capacitor. It may have some different other components in there, but what it's really doing is it's still storing up enough power that maybe over a period of time your motor has you know, weakened and uh, the, start capacitor, the, the start capacitor is not actually kicking in as well. So you're using this, but what you're still doing is you're still actually shocking the motor or compressor, whatever you're doing, when you're starting it. So, and that's the biggest problem when you're using hard starts, is that it, starting up the motor is when all the windings, they, they heat up, they start burning up, and so on like that. That's what actually uh, eliminates, or how would you say, it, it decreases the life of the motor or the compressor. When you go to a soft starter, what it's doing is it's using a minimal amount of amperage to kick over the compressor. And if you saw this, and you had a unit standing up one side by side, just freely on the floor, on the floor you could actually kick it up with a normal, normal direct online, and you see what a jerk it makes to the actual the compressor. But if you actually put a hard start, the uh, the surf start in, in front of that, and you turn it. You see how it is a very soft jerking to it, not even a jerking, a motion as far as kicking over the compressor. So uh, it's, it's a completely different concept. Uh, one is just full speed and full amperage, when the other one is just using minimal amount to get from a standing stop to an operation speed. Okay, that's great. A great answer. I've got a question five here would be, uh, what are the benefits of using a soft start? 
Well, the benefits, uh, the, the unit itself is an electronic software-driven unit, so it's just not uh, a large capacitor like a hard start or kick start or whatever it might, you might want to think. Um, the benefits of it, and I have many different applications, but some of it, uh, I have customers, they use them just because every time they compress it kicks off, their lights flicker, and they don't like that. It may not be a power issue, but, well, the, they, they don't. But some of the critical applications I have is where they don't have enough power. Maybe it was a, a solar application that run off batteries, and they can't kick over their refrigerator or their HVAC compressor. This is going to reduce the amount of locked rotor amperage by 70%. So they're only using 70% of the amperage that they would normally use on a normal startup. Um, and that's, that's quite considerable. So as far as the other benefits of it, uh, it, it actually, you know, it, it, it reduces the amount of amperage that you're going to use on uh, any other application, maybe even a pump, even maybe long distance as far as irrigation, uh, and you've got a virtual pump, and sometimes you have, when you start a motor up, you're, you're actually jerking it, and sometimes you're fracturing the pipes even. So there's, there's a lot of different benefits, different applications. Question six would be a concern about the durability of the sure start components inside of the module. Uh, can you explain, uh, like, uh, have you had any problems with, uh, say, a particular module, or excuse me, a particular component in a module burning up or anything like that? No, we, we, and I wouldn't expect anybody to know, but we've been in the business since the the mid to late 90s as far as making hard stops. We've made over 250,000 of these units uh, and, and been using them in Europe, uh, the middle of uh, China, the, the Pacific Rim, uh, in Australia, a lot also. Uh, the, the market has moved going closer to the U.S. now because it hasn't been exposed out there. So we've had a, there's a lot of reliability. I've had a couple failures in that the phase, in some cases, had to be with possibly they weren't tightening the, tur the, the, the terminal down enough and it was starting arcing. Um, I had one failure on a unit where, well, it was a problem as far as the assembly, where well, one, of the, one of the IC units inside the actual circuit board, it got pinched and it didn't go through, through the actual the PC board. Um, but so they are quite reliable. Uh, they warranty for a year. Um, I have some companies in the geothermal. They're using well anywhere from probably six thousand to eight thousand units a year. Um, and as I said, one of the companies that actually like the product is Emerson Copeland, and they brand label it. Uh, I'm also some of the different areas we work. We work in Selby's are marine, very big, big in boats and HVAC. It's also big in HVAC refrigeration. We use it in solar power. Uh, and also get involved with uh, uh, the military, actually bench testing them out. Okay, Michael, uh, I appreciate you answering these questions for me. And what I want to know is, if, do you have anything else that you'd like to tell my viewers about the product? Well, Jim, I want to thank you for at least uh, taking a look at the product and bench testing it for me because uh, it, it is an uh, unknown product. Um, it's, it's quite reliable. Uh, I have a lot of people uh, using it and implementing it in, in their OEMs or just even end users. But uh, uh, we, we do sell the product in the U.S., and we sell it currently from the, uh, the website, the hypereng.com. Um, it's under $200. Uh, it's a very reliable unit. Um, has the, the capabilities of um, helping to start motors, compressors, uh, where there is poor power issues. Uh, some of the other benefits of, of the actual sure start is that are very, very easy to see is light flicker. Uh, when you're starting a compressor, it eliminates that. But not only that, when you put it on there, you can actually tell by the status of the compressor how quiet it is. And it's just actually being able to start it up at 70% reduction of the, the amperage it normally has. It's an easy install in the field. Um, they're a very, uh, like I said, durable unit. Uh, we've sold 250,000 of these worldwide. Um, so we've been quite successful with it. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to any kind of feedback or any interest from any other customers that I want to contact us. Also with the, the sure start, the, these are a certified type product. They meet, uh, they're a UL certified 508 uh, compliance. Uh, we are also a, an ETL certification. Uh, we also get involved with, that also covers the Canadians uh, as far as the UL certification up uh, in Canada. And on top of that, we also have a CE uh, certification for Europe. So the 
the product is, uh, uh, it meets these compliances and uh, we have proven the product. Well, thank you, Mike. And I look forward to uh, testing that uh, three-phase module you have. That Hopefully it will be later this month. Okay. Thanks a lot.